it's something maybe we're going to have to speak to him about, but that one short, wide, dragged out, and the man who's on 56, easy pickings for him, opens the face, beats the man, David Miller diving to his left. And that's a big hit, that's a massive hit, way up to the grandstands, just manages to stay inside the facilities, and that ends off a seriously good over for Pakistan, 16 from it, 154 for 5, Ramiz is smiling. Well, he does that, and he does it quite comfortably. He's hit that a long way. That is a very good shot indeed. No wonder he was waiting. The last ball. Has he got enough on it? I think he has. Yep, six more. So he's done the business of that over. 12 off the over, two blows. That's all it took. 42 gone, 249 for seven now. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 wow. Here we go. It'll be very interesting to see how he manages this, Fakhar Zaman. Six more, six more. Yeah, but it's good contact that time. Yeah, tough this, tough this for Shamsi. But this is a gem of an innings. But Fakhar Zaman brings up 150 of just 128 balls. Yeah, Pom, the belief keeps growing. He's played an unbelievable knock here for his team. 151 of 128 balls. And with that six, I believe will still be there that they can still win this. More. Oh, yes. Fakhar Zaman. Ground not big enough for him. Three in a row. There's those slog sweeps, and this time he's got it. And it's out the ground. It's uh, made contact with the tree on the perimeter of the Wanderers Stadium. And it's managed to not actually leave the premises. But it's cleared the grandstand. You saw this so many times in the One Day International on this ground, and you can just see how he gets into a strong position. Big swing of the bat and it comes right off the middle. It's quality striking from Fakhar Zaman. His first fix six of the day. Get it, get it! Shouts of catch it. He hasn't hit it well. Oh, well done. Oh, well done. Excellent. Really good work that. Oh, dear. There we go, we got the phone call again. We've got the phone call from Shamsi. So pumped about the wicket, it's a big breakthrough. A miss hit, and they've been rare from Fakhar Zaman. And excellent from Yanaman Milan on the boundary. Yeah, it tells a story, the celebration tells a story, not about this dismissal, not necessarily about how big this is for the context of this first T20, but also the battle that he had against him in the ODRs. They're just going to have a look to make sure there was no contact with the boundary cushion. I think everything's okay. Yenman Milan was backpedaling. I think he had the presence of mind just to pop that up in the air, yeah, comfortably. No issue there whatsoever. It's a good effort and an important wicket for South Africa. You know how good Fakas money is and what a big play he's been for Pakistan in this tour so far. Shamsi has his man, 86 for two, Fakhar Zaman goes for 27. There's the confirmation, had gone upstairs just to check it, and Fakhar Zaman out. Another look at it. Happy to go for the big shot, it just hit one right out of the ground, and he was going again. A miss hit, there's bounce here at the Wanderers. And so top edges that normally it might well just go over the boundary too. But for Yanaman Milan, who was in the way, and expertly took that. It's 86 for two. Wow. That uh, is uh, far from ideal, I would imagine. 0-1, Linda. 
first ball smacked, smashed. And uh, well, this wasn't supposed to find the fence. It did in the end, courtesy Missfield. That's called a wide. So one spinner is not going to speak to the other spinner. Wrong footed. Between the legs. Yeah, I just missed it. <laughs> Punishment for George Linder, I think, now. He's been asked to run around the boundary. He missed that first one. I'm just joking. It's uh, pretty ordinary bowling, actually, from Shamsi. Uh, there could be a psychological barrier here, a mental block here against Fakhar, because he started off quite timidly against him. Ball spinning away wide providing the width and an easy boundary to Fakhar. 